to go with us today. We're playing Minecraft Story Mode. I just got it now. So, we're gonna play this today. And my dad's looking at me like I'm insane or something. Anyways, we're going to play the game. We're gonna break it into parts and stuff and yada yada yada. Let's get into the game. What are we gonna do here? Because black is my color. And I'm a boy. Oh, this is like the walking like the walking dead. Okay, we are back and let's go. So, how was your day? Uh, here we go. This game is a series of steps of the choices you make, the story is centered by how you play. Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost until all that remains are myths, half truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as thee. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. That's easy. I'll take the, uh, the little tiny little zombies. A hundred of okay. them, crawling all over you with their tiny hands. Uh, all I need is like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <gasps> what kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean That's anything me. by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> Totally freaked out. That was, uh... Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. 
Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. That wasn't funny, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it? You scared us half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's gotta wear a costume. <laughs> it looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You've definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside and dress like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. <laughs> One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. We really should change the name. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. That was actually pretty good. Pretty That'll good. do, Reuben. That'll do. Gotta go around. Is that all? No, we gotta look in the chest. Alright. Shears definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. This is the thing I hate about the these type of games. The camera like doesn't do what you want to do. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Everything. Dies. I'm not playing. Let's game. roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It would be amazing to meet him. Reuben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So... Does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Reuben with us. We basically have no chance. Faith, Olivia. What? A little slice, a sliver. Uh, a portion, just a little faith. That's all we need. Also, I'm hungry. To win. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. Let's build a zombie. 
I guess that's kind of like a creeper. Eh, it's a monster. It's fine. We are so ready. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. I love preparing. preparing is daring. No, I, that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team. team. Prepare. We know what we're building, we've got all the stuff for it, we are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build, I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Mm. Oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man. They've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please. Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the Dead Enders. Whoa, sounds like a name for pirates. It's cool. Okay, Dead Enders, you guys are in booth five. Uh, ah, ah. Badass. Freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? And stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. What are you worried about? We've got this. Who are we kidding? We've got nothing. We've got a mascot. <laughs> we should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look. It's the Order of the Losers, again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow an outside food or drink. <laughs> I'm talking about your pig. Reuben is not food. Could have fooled me. He looks delicious. That sounded like a weird compliment. You'll have to eat me first. Uh, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Josie. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. 
None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. We're cool with Petra, but you need to teach your friend some manners. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, have you heard the saying, it's possible to be nice and win? Sounds like something a loser would say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the EnderCon building competition. The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at EnderCon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior. Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll call it the... The Magic Warrior Whip. whip. <gasps> hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Dead Enders can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build, and we'll worry about ours. I'm gonna break my head to put the empty thing. Oh god. That was broken. Now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. How could anyone not love a zombie? Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was Aiden. That punk. The lava's getting closer. It's gonna ruin the build. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. You guys stay and save the build. On it. We've got to cover, Jesse. Be careful. <laughs> We'll meet up with you at Endercon. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I just gotta fix this. Ruben, where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Ruben? Ruben, come here, boy! Could that be Ruben? Hmm, pig tracks. Let's go this way. This way is easy. Ruben, I don't want to be out here in the dark. Ruben, where are you, buddy? I hear some pigs. Hey, Ruben, I got a carrot for you. Where are you, buddy? Ruben? I think that treads on there that you can get. I'm sorry. These definitely belong to a pig. Hmm, no way Ruben made these on his own.
Finn, are you in there? Reuben! No, not you, but pigs! Hey, all pigs but Reuben, shut up! It's getting scary out here. Can you hear me, boy? Reuben? Reuben? Oh no, you in there, buddy? Oh jeez, please don't be toasted, Reuben. Hey, buddy, you want a carrot? Let's get out of here, Reuben. Hope you're ready for some more walking. We gotta hurry back to town if we don't want to run into... Make a run for it, okay? I'll meet you back in town, I promise. Get out of here now! Get out of the open. Jesus, this book flag. <laughs> I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but 
How far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. It, yeah, this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. That's insane, Petra. You could have gotten yourself killed. <laughs> don't worry so much. I can handle myself. So... There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. The guy you got the skull for, what's his deal? He's kind of strange, I guess. But hey, everybody's got their thing. And you never thought to ask him, hey, what's with your whole totally normal, not at all weird skull thing? As long as this guy is willing to pay, I earned that diamond. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. You want me to come with you? Consider it my charitable act for the day. I'll consider it whatever you want me to consider it, as long as I get to come. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No. We're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jack. What floor is that? Okay. Just place the pieces on the table. when you make it yourself. Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. I can't believe it. We won. I knew the zombie would put us over the top. Good for you, Jesse. It's about time we beat Lucas and his gang of jerks. What kind of stupid name is the Ocelots anyway? You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him, just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around, no matter what you might think of him personally. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. I don't need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. How about a lecture on the power of my fists? It's short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Andercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. Creepers! Doesn't look good. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Anyways, Dorks, we are going to end it there. <laughs> Cliff hangers, am I right? Yes, I'm right. I mean, <laughs> you guys are probably mad right now. But it doesn't matter. We'll continue this game. Of course we will. I already started it. Not like Batman. I'm just, I'm just gonna finish cliffhangers. But stay tuned for the next episode, cause I'm really starting to love this game. I didn't finish it, but the thing is, we're gonna play it. We're gonna get all episodes, and we're gonna enjoy it all together as a family. Okay, so I hope you guys will stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see you guys later.